Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make a clothing stand. So to start off we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open. If Explorer and Properties are not open we want to head up to the top bar here, click on View and enable Explorer and Properties. So now that we've inserted the mannequin into our Roblox game, we now want to go and rename it. You don't have to rename it but for this tutorial I'm just going to be re renaming it to Mannequin. Um, but as you guys can see it kind of leaves a name tag up there if you don't want a name tag to be on the mannequin what you can do is simply remove the name here in properties and just click a couple times space and as you guys can see it is blank and it is blank up here and it doesn't say anything above the mannequin but that's completely up to you if you decided to do it that way so now what we're going to want to do we're going to want to head up to explorer and we want to find our mannequin then click the plus button next to our mannequin and insert body colors this basically allows us to change the color of the mannequin's body, okay? So to change the color of the mannequin's body, you wanna click on body colors here, which is below our mannequin. And as you guys can see, the head color, left arm color, you can really change anything you want. You can even change the clothing color. Like let's say we wanted it to maybe be like a blue. We can change it here, or if you wanna be more precise with the type of blue, you can change it over here to more, maybe more of a darker or a green you know it's completely up to you so once you're finished customizing your mannequin we want to head back over to our uh, mannequin over here in explorer we want to click the plus button and insert a shirt and we also want to insert pants we want to then rename these to pants and then we want to rename the shirt to shirts so now we want to go and choose the shirt that we want to put up for sale and we want to put onto the mannequin so for this tutorial i'm going to be using my floppy merch and please excuse the look of these pants. I made these like three years ago. So what we want to do, we want to go and select our ID up here. And we want to take these uh, two IDs back. So now that we've copied our first ID, we want to go back to Explorer and we want to find our shirt. Depending on which ID you copied first, that will depend on which one goes where. So if you copied the shirt first, you want to take it to the shirts one. Then in shirts template, we want to paste our ID. Right click paste or control V just like that and as you guys can see our shirt has loaded onto the mannequin now we want to do the same thing with the pants please do keep in mind that you are also able to only have the shirt on the mannequin you don't have to have the pants or vice versa you don't have to have the shirt and you can just have the pants it's completely up to you. so now that we've inserted the ids of our shirt and pants into the mannequin we now want to actually go and make the buttons that the players are going to click to purchase the shirt or pants so we want to go up here and click on part and we want to scale this to however you would like for this tutorial i'm just going to make it something like this kind of on the dude's arm let's make it a little bit bigger something just like that and we'll change the color let's make it maybe like a make it a red we'll make it a red something like that just a cool little button and we'll do the exact same for the pants down below we'll move, maybe move them just there of course you can add a lot more detail into it but I'm just doing this quickly for the tutorial. So now what we're going to want to do now that we've created our parts, we want to go and rename them to shirt purchase. And we want to also rename the um, pant, uh, pants one to pants purchase. So now that we've made our buttons and also renamed the buttons to shirt purchase and pants purchase, we then want to go over to them and click the plus button next to both of them and we want to insert a script. So now that you've inserted the scripts into the buttons, you now want to go and remove all the previous code from both of the scripts. Then you're going to want to go down to the description of this, this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, bring it back to Roblox Studio and Control V, right click paste in both of the scripts. Both of the scripts take the same code. So now that you've inserted the code into the scripts, you now want to go and change this ID to your clothing ID, the clothing that you would like to sell to the players. We want to go back to the script and you need to try to figure out which script is for which button. As I figured out, this one is for the pants. So you want to remove the previous ID, remove that and control V right click paste in the new. So now ID. that we've inserted the ID into the script, we want to go and close all the scripts. So with that, we load back onto the base plate. We then want to go up to file and click on publish to roblox this will basically publish our game to roblox then we want to go test out the game 
As you guys can see, we are now in the Roblox game. If we go and click on the red button here for the shirt, as you guys can see, the floppy shirt button will be shown where we're able to purchase it. And if we click on the red button here by the pants, as you guys can see, there's a bit of an error. The only reason there's an error is because I already own this item and I'm not able to repurchase the item. But if the person or the player doesn't have this item, they'll be taken to the transaction page. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day guys and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.